Here's something that, that crossed my, uh, my vision here uh, just this morning. It's, uh, it, this is out of this, the uh, New York Times, and let me read this to you because this is very important. The title of the article says, Qaeda plot leak has undermined U.S. intelligence. Since news reports in early August revealed the United States intercepted messages between al-Zawahiri, who succeeded Osama bin Laden as the head of al-Qaeda, and the Nasser al-Waisi, the head of the Yebanon, uh, or Yemen-based al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, discussing an imminent terrorist attack, analysis have detected a sharp drop in the terrorist use of a major communications channel that authorities were monitoring. In other words, our authorities were monitoring these sites, these, these communications links between the head of Al-Qaeda and one of their subordinates in Yemen. Well, all of a sudden now, they can't seem to monitor this communication. Well, that's because of something that we remembered that we have talked about on this site many, many times. When you have the Russians, now by the way, let me go back and talk about al-Zawahiri, the head of al-Qaeda. We know, due to the revelations of Alexander Litvinenko, the defector from the KGB who was killed in England through a radioactive substance placed in his tea, he revealed that al-Zawahiri was a Russian asset, a Russian-trained asset who was second in command of al-Qaeda under Osama bin Laden. Now he is the leader of al-Qaeda. Now he's a Russian-trained asset, okay? Now what we see is the United States has allowed Spitznet's troops to come into Fort Carson and train with special forces on the ground using our communication systems in the war against terrorism. They've allowed Russian generals into the Colorado Springs NORAD headquarters using our communication systems against the war on terrorism. They've allowed, in fact, to sign an agreement with FEMA to allow our people and their people to interact and inter-exchange in crowd control against the war on terrorism in case maybe some terrorist tries to infiltrate the Olympics coming up in Russia or perhaps some terrorist wants to infiltrate into the uh, World Cup or the Super Bowl or something of that nature and so we're going to allow the Russians to see how those communications work uh, and so on and so forth. Now we are exposing all of our communications technology in the war against terror to the Russians. Now, gee, maybe, perhaps, the Russians passed on this technology and capability of what we can do in monitoring Al-Qaeda. You think, maybe, a little bit, 